it on the floor, and then we'll deal with it. I'm sorry, Councillor Amata. I'm uh, sorry, thank Councillor you. Amata, not Nicholas. Yep. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Actually, uh, Councillor Reed has the motion. All right, yeah. Councillor Reed, if you just, Councillor Reed. Thank you. Moved by myself, seconded by Councillor Price. Uh, number seven, water building policies, uh, as printed. Okay, as printed, folks. Councillor Tucci. Okay, so Your Worship, um, and I need some direction from you or, or Mr. King. Um, I recognize the motion before us is simply to receive the report, and I'd like to table some, uh, a motion or two, or failing one motion, table another one. And I'm wondering, uh, does that require a notice of motion to bring forward to the next council meeting, or can I table something tonight? Are you, are you doing an amendment to the policy? Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Or, yeah. You're going to need a vote of reconsideration on this, okay? Okay. But, but the question is, do we do that? Can I do that tonight, or do I have to put forward a notice of motion and then vote of reconsideration at that time? You know, the motion you know, the motion's on the floor, so we would have to get a vote of reconsideration. To even talk? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm following the rules. Okay. okay so, Interpreting. So can I table a, a, a vote of reconsideration? Yeah. Sure. I need a second report. Okay, Councillor Calso. Talking to the vote of reconsideration, okay, of the policies. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, just, <laughs> okay, sorry. Councillor Calso. Well, just briefly, I, I, I think we heard from um, uh, Ms. Andrade Kayla that a concession is would be wonderful and would help the problems. And um, the reality is we made concessions earlier in the evening. So I think the motion of reconsideration should be something that we look at and, and get it back on the floor to at least discuss a potential concession here if we can figure one out. Thank you. Okay, Councillor Tucci, your mic? Yeah, yeah sorry, Your Worship. Yeah, uh, that, that's my whole intent of uh, tabling the uh, notice, or sorry, vote of reconsideration, is to at least allow Council this one last kick at the can in terms of you've heard, yeah, you've heard from the delegations from time to time. Uh, tonight there was some concessions made, uh, but I think the Mr. Matheson, sorry, Mr. Fairweather's report I think gives us some food for thought in terms of what are we really th talking about in terms of the number of arrears accounts and the potential. There, I mean, it's a very small number of accounts, and we've created a bigger problem than it needs to be. And so I, I would, I, and I, I'm not asking council to support my motion for changes to the policy, but at least allow these people the uh, the benefit of a voter reconsideration to at least show them that you're being democratic and that you're prepared to listen. Thank you. Councillor Wolf. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Just a question. So if we wanted to even change something, let's say the $100 fee to $50, is that a motion Same of reconsideration? Yep. Same? Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Any further comments? Recorded vote. You need six votes on this, folks. Council members, start voting now, please. Council members, stop voting now, please. The, the vote of reconsideration did not pass. Okay. So we're back to the original motion. Any further comments? Councillor Tucci, just a second, please. Let me know when you've got them downtown. Okay. Okay. I, I guess um, <clears throat> I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be supporting the, the the report because I think the the report provided us food for thought. I think provided us, and, and given what you did earlier, I, I really don't understand the thought process that goes into uh, doing concession on, on, on certain classes and then continuing to ignore uh, the plea of another class. 
And so I'm not going to be supporting the motion. I, I, I don't understand why in a council we're democratically elected, a council member is not allowed because we've got this voter reconsideration. Um, and I know it's policy and we abide by it, but I don't understand. We're a member of council. When we have a report, and I believe there's more to the report that we didn't have prior, I've asked uh, Mr. Matheson that I would be prepared to go into closed session to talk about uh, the Municipal Act and its interpretation, and you shut that down. I can't even, because, because no, we've, you're, no, you're, hold on. No, no. You're, because you're reconsideration's way, been defeated. You're, you're, you're all over the place here. You're dealing no, with receiving no, report for information. Right, and I, I'm telling you why I'm not supporting the, the, the report. And the end of the day, um, the, 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 the question about the Municipal Act interpretation, we can't even go there because you've not allowed the voter reconsideration. That's not me personally. Well, no, it's a council's well, decision. No, right? I'm not pointing to you. Well, no, you are saying council's right decision. Right? Well, whatever. Thank you, Your Worship. Councilor Kiefer. Yes, Your Worship. Thank you. I, um, I'm going to. I, I was in favor of the reconsideration, but seeing that was defeated, I mean, we have to do what's democratic here and go with the, and, and roll with that. But um, having said that, just because we received this report doesn't mean, Your Worship and I'm asking a question here, that we can't make changes. Is that correct? We can't, we can't make changes. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll let the clerk answer that, please. Okay. Just like any motion you guys have in front of you, you have the opportunity to make amendments to the, the, the um, report that's in front of you. Okay. But if we pass the report, we can still make an amendment afterwards or no? No, no, this is your time to make amendments to the, the report. Well, what I, what I need to know though is, um, you know, we heard the, the delegation say that in terms of concession uh, about making the tenants responsible. And what I need to know there, uh, Your Worship, is uh, from staff perhaps, what would the cost of doing such a proposal be to the city? Like we, ha we don't have that information in front of us. Well, like we can get that at another council meeting. You can't get that right now, okay? Yeah, so that's my dilemma, Your Worship. Then, then how do I, then how do I uh, you know, accept the report, but um, the clerk's just advised me that I have to deal with the amendment at the same time. And I can't deal with the amendment if I don't have the information at this particular time. Well, the reconsideration has failed. That's the point, okay? So well, Mike, all you have on the table is receiving a report for information, not getting back into policy or changes. Okay? Thank you. Councilor Council. Yeah, you, you know, this is where the confusion comes into play, and it's all, all re related around procedure. And, and we, we were turned down on a motion of reconsideration. However, if we were to look at taking an item from this, we could still deal with it. So there, there's... Like we could we could amend something from this report. No. I'm wondering if it would not be, and I hate doing this, but I wonder if it would not be wise to defer this item, Mayor Craig, one more blink in time, to get some of the response, get some of the information back, specifically for Mr. King, our lawyer on on Councillor Tucci's uh, concern, and and I would like to know how and where we could pick out a concession. So I'm wondering if it would be worth just deferring it to the next council meeting and then finalizing it then? That's my question. Well, yeah, okay. Council has turned down the motion of reconsideration. You can yes. defer accepting this for information and get further information, but you can't go back into the policy, okay? Even if you get further information. If you wish to defer it, it's in front of you, okay? No, no, no. Now, what I'm trying to find out, if we defer this, and we're right back to square one, theoretically, so then we could come back again with a motion of reconsideration. No, no. Yeah, I'm, uh, Mr. Uh, Matheson? I, I, I'm not going to be much help. I think I'm confused as well. The council is only voting to receive an information report frankly, practically, whether you choose to receive it formally or not, you've received it. you received the information for it. So I, I'm not sure what Council's attempting to accomplish by some sort of vote to not receive the okay. report. If, if you want to make changes, you've already tried that and that motion failed. So I, I, don't, I don't know what else to offer you other than you've done that, that didn't pass. I don't, I, 
I don't see the practical portion of whether you choose not to receive this report or not. That doesn't help counsel, I don't think, in any way. Okay, so the motion's on the floor to receive the report simply for information. Any other comments, folks, on this? I'm going to call the question. Those in favor? Opposed? The report's not received for information. That's fine. Okay, you've decided that. Okay, so now we're into the consent agenda. Yeah, you're into the consent agenda.